Hello, my wonderful students. Today, we will be talking about a brief overview of what we will be taking for math. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a deep understanding of what we will be taking within the year for math. I want to introduce you to myself. My name is Ms. Diana. I will be your grade 4A homeroom teacher. I will be teaching you English, math, science, and social. But for, for today's video, we will be talking about math. I promise you, math in grade four is always unique and special in its own way. Now, I need you to totally focus on what we will be taking in math. There might be things that you understand, and there might be things that you might have never taken it. Don't worry about it. We will be taking it into details in grade four. Let's get started. First of all, I'd like to introduce you with your books. In math, you have volume one and volume two. So we will have a book for volume one and a book for volume two, and we will have as well for sure our math copybooks. We're going to have activities, worksheets, and so on. But what we have right now with us is your math book. This is how the math volume one looks. And as you can see, it is written grade four, volume one. In your second one, this is your math volume two book. Okay, this is your book that you're going to be using as well. Okay, and now within the year, you might notice that we will be having some topics that are in the volume two books. We might be taking it in the first semester and so on. Do not worry about it because we will be covering up majority of all, of all our topics in our math book. Okay, so let's go into details with what we will be taking in math this year. And I promise you it's going to be fun. Okay, we will start it with our place value. When I talk about place value, I am talking about the value of that number. So when I have two numbers, if I go to a supermarket and I have a 1JD and my brother or my sister or my friend or so on has a 10JD. Now, for sure, you will know that the value of 1JD is totally different from the value of 10JD. A 1JD can buy items that are different from, in, uh, from uh, different items than 10JDs. You can bring in more things in 10JDs than you can with 1JD because the value of 10 is bigger than the value of 1. Okay? So when we talk about math, we need to remember two most important things. We need to remember the value and the accuracy. We need to make sure that when we work on math, we need to be accurate. Why? Because, for example, if I go to a grocery shop, okay, if I go to Miles, for example, or if I go to Carrefour, or if I go to any Cosmo or so on, when I buy in the items and I go to the cashier so that they can go ahead and tell me the amount that I need to pay in, I need to make sure that the number that they give me is accurate. I cannot buy something for 10 JDs and they tell me, you know what, it costs, for example, about 100 JD. So always remember, in math, we always need to be accurate, especially that there are some basic operations that I will be teaching you in math that I will tell you how to check your work. So you will work as a role model, as a teacher at this period of time. You will enjoy it a lot. Okay, so we have the place value, the first part. We're going to be taking the most important basic operations Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I know all of you guys are going to tell me, well, miss, we took it. We know it. I know we all took it. But when I'm telling you multi uh, addition, in grade four, we're going to be learning how to add two-digit number plus two-digit number. We're going to be adding three-digit numbers with another three-digit numbers, and we're going to reach till four-digit numbers. So by grade four, you'll be able to learn how to add four-digit numbers plus four-digit numbers with regrouping for sure. Now, after addition, as we all know, we have subtraction. Well, subtraction, I can tell you something, my grade four students. We're going to learn how to subtract. We should learn. We're going to continue practicing subtraction with regrouping, but I will be also showing you a method of how to check your work. In order to check your work, you can be more confident that your answers are considered to be correct. Okay? So again, same as addition. In subtraction, you are going to be subtracting three-digit numbers by three-digit numbers, four-digit numbers by three-digit numbers, five-digit numbers by four to five-digit numbers as well. Okay? Let's go to the next. We, for sure, as I all know, by grade three, you should be able to know your multiplication tables. We are going to be able to multiply. 
we are going to be, we're going to take like two, three days where we're going to practice it all together as our classmates. We are going to be multiplying two digit numbers by one digit numbers, two digit numbers by two digit numbers, three digit numbers by two digit numbers, and so on. So it's going to be not the normal multiplication, but in order for us to go to the level of multiplying multiplication problems like this, we need to make sure that we know our multiplication tables very well. Okay, I cannot come to a, a math class and say, well, uh, Ms. Diana, four times six is one, two. No, we should be able to know that. You know what, Ms. Diana, four times six is 24. So quick, so fast. Okay, so this year we're going to be learning how to multiply two digit numbers by two digit numbers, three digit numbers by two digit numbers, and so on. What comes after multiplication, my grade four? Division. Good job we're going to learn how to divide as well. Now, division, I can give you a hint as well, like subtraction. I am going to show you a way how to check your work, where you can come and tell me, you know what, Ms. Diana, my answers are correct because I checked them as well. So you're going to have a technique where you're going to check your work and make sure that they are done correctly. Okay? There it goes. You have those are the parts of a division problem where you're going to be able to divide it. You're going to be able to know how to put your answers and so on. We are going to be learning new terminologies. We're not going to have the simple terminologies. We're going to learn terminologies that are used in math in order for us to finish up or to be able for us to use them during our math classes. Okay. We have as well our factors and our factorings. We're going to be able to know our factors, our multiples, and so on. So as we all know, we're going to be going into details with our basic operations, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Always remember grade four, that with practice makes perfect. So you will be 100% sure by the end of grade four that you will be able to, to, to be able to work on those basic operations in a very easy, simple way, okay? We're going to be as well having a new topic um, uh, about measurement units where we're going to learn how to convert different types of measurement units into a different measurement, uh, into a different measurement unit. For example, if I have a person that weighs 65 kilos, I'm going to be telling you, you know what? My grade four students convert my 65 kilos into grams. Or for example, if I talk about uh, height and I tell you, you know what? She is 172 centimeters. Please change it into meters. Go ahead and convert it for me. So you will be able to convert the centimeters into meters, okay? You're going to have different standard units. You're going to have standard units for volume and so on, okay? You have over here as well the different measurement units, that majority that we're going to use. You have the yard, you have the inches, you have the ounce, you have the pound, you have the quart, you have the gallon, you have the pint, you have the cup, you have the tablespoons, and so on. So you will be able to use them all in your math class as well. We will also, to give you a little bit of hint, we will also be talking about different kinds of shapes that you are going to be using. You're going to be able to go ahead and model a 3D shape. You're going to be able as well to be uh, calculating the parameters, the areas, and so on for the following shapes. Leave me grade 4A. Your math book, which is over here, is going to have lots of interesting things that you would really, really, really like to go ahead and focus on and see it. It's going to be simple and easy. Do not worry what I gave you the information about it because we're going to go step by step. We're not going to proceed until I know 100% sure thoroughly that you will be able to know it very well. Okay? So as we just said, the most important parts, your place value, your basic operations, you're, you're regrouping while checking your work as well. Make sure that we know our multiplication tables very well before coming to class, making sure that we're going to be multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers, two-digit numbers by three-digit numbers. We're going to be learning division as well, which is going to be division problems with remainders. We're going to be learning different terminologies when we are working on our math. 
and we are going to be learning about factors and so on and different types of measurement units. Thank you, my grade four students. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I love you.